Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Monday, May 31st. I'm David Lehman, the Bishop of Caledonia, and I'm joined this evening by the Dean. Hello. And we're on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Shimshan people, which we gratefully acknowledge. Our worship is found in the Book of Common Prayer and begins on page 722. We are on the eve of the feast of Justin, who is martyred on this day in the uh, on the day tomorrow on um, in the year 167. He was known as a teacher of the faith with some renown. Um, Tom Holland, in his book Dominion, goes to great lengths to describe how an incredible teacher and orator he was, and how um, that led, uh, and because of his convictions, led to his death. And as a martyr of the faith. So we remember Justin with our readings and in our collect tonight and we give thanks for those who have gone before us and were willing to proclaim Christ crucified in incredible circumstances. As we're in God's presence and are coming into a time of worship, let us pause, be still and know that we are surrounded by God's grace, mercy and love. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening is a portion of Psalm 31, found on page 364. Psalm 31, page 364. We shall say verses 1 through 6 together. In thee, O Lord, have I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be thee house my strong rock and house of defense, that thou mayest save me. For thou art my strong rock and my castle. Be thou also my guide, and lead me for thy name's sake. Draw me out of the net that they have hidden for me, for thou art my strength. Into thy hands I commend my spirit, for thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel according to John, the twelfth chapter beginning at the 44th verse. Jesus cried out, Whoever believes in me does not believe in me only, but in the one who sent me. The one who looks at me is seeing the one who sent me. I have come into the world as a light, so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. If anyone hears my words but does not keep them, I do not judge that person. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. There is a judge for the one who rejects me and does not accept my words. The very words I have spoken will condemn them at the last day. For I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me to say all that I have spoken. I know that his commands lead to eternal life. So whatever I say is just what the Father has told me to say. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Tilicusante Terminum. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that with thy wanted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. 
Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Together we say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to your hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors. To be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven. To be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Together, let us say the confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us? That thy people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. And the collect for this the eve of the feast of St. Justin. Almighty God, you found your servant Justin seeking the path of true wisdom and made him a worthy witness to the truth of your eternal word. Guide those who are wearied in their quest for peace to the fount and spring of your mercy, that their sorrows and doubts may be washed away with joy of knowing your Son, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Visit, we beseech you, Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell here and to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness. And from the children of light banish the deeds of darkness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers and petitions for the people and places that are upon your hearts this night. 
inviting you to name them aloud or to share them in the comments box where we may all enter into prayer along with you. We pray this night for all who are suffering from the coronavirus. For those who are in hospital, particularly in ICU beds. For all longing for medical treatment and to be in hospital. For those who are recovering at home. For those whose recovery is a longer, complicated path. For those who are awaiting test results and are self-isolating. And for all who are awaiting the vaccines and for equitable distribution of the vaccines around the country and the world. We pray God's healing hand be upon all who suffer this night. For those who are struggling with mental health issues, anxiety, depression, grief. For those who are struggling with, mental, uh, with um, addictions. For all who are waiting for doctor's appointments, diagnoses, and surgeries. For all recovering from surgeries and all undergoing treatments, therapies, and procedures. That God will grant wisdom to those who have care for them. Strength for those who uh, minister to them, family and friends particularly. And that... God's healing hand may bring them to wholeness. We pray for those who lead in the communities. Thinking of those who are elected to office and those who volunteer. People who help make our communities the special places that they are. We pray for those who lead provincially, for the members of the Legislative Assembly, for the Premier for the cabinet and for the work of Dr. Bonnie Henry and her office and for the distribution and the administration of the vaccines. We pray for those who lead in the territories and the provinces, for those who lead us federally, praying for the members of parliament, for those in the House of Commons and the Senate, for the prime minister, the cabinet, the work of Dr. Tam's office and the procurement of and ongoing study of the vaccines. And we pray for those who lead around the world, for those who are uh, giving of themselves for the common good and praying for those places where there is strife this night, remembering the Holy Land and praying for Israel and Palestine, for Myanmar, Syria, Ireland, China, remembering the two Michaels, for Chad, Uganda, Nigeria, Afghanistan, Pakistan, for those countries experiencing natural disasters and struggling with famine, praying for Yemen. Remembering the Congo and St. Vincent with volcanic activities and places struggling with flooding and thinking this night of a clavic in the Northwest Territories. And for all those places that are on your hearts and minds, we pray as well. We pray for those who minister God's graces in these places and around the world. Remember this night, Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury. Linda Nichols, our primate, Mark McDonald, the National Indigenous Anglican Archbishop, Lynn McNaughton, our Metropolitan, and for all who lead in the parishes, clergy and lay, and for our common witness and ministry to God's truth and love and the work of reconciliation. We pray this night for those who are lonely, isolated, and vulnerable. For those who are vulnerable physically and um, struggling with health and needing to remain isolated, for those who are still waiting for vaccines, for those who are, who are vulnerable and 
in places like refugee camps and small communities for those who are in violent relationships, for those whose work is requires them to, to um, be in unsafe circumstances at times. We pray for those who are isolated because of where they live, some remote communities, some because of um, outbreaks and housing and such, for those who are in prison. We pray for those who are lonely, that we may be checking on all that we know and to make sure that they are well and taken care of and that their needs are being met as best they can be and that they know that they are not alone. Praying for those who are struggling this night with the weight of the discovery of the 215 children's bodies in Kamloops and for how that grief isolates and, and makes us vulnerable. For people to surround them, for God's spirit to stir up in them the knowledge that we are together and that there is help and support and encouragement to be found. And that in our grief, there may be hope. For all these and for your concerns, we pray. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants. Guide the young. Support the aged. Encourage the faint-hearted. Collect the scattered and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us, and those that hate us, and those that have desired us, and worthy as we are, to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And even, and more importantly in these heavy days, I invite your thanksgivings, those grace moments where you've seen the hand of God at work in your life and the lives of those around you, that allow us to have a moment of praise. I am thankful for the chance to attend a vigil this evening to witness the incredible resiliency and grace of the people that were gathered and their hopefulness in the Lord and in their faith and their support that they were to one another as this deep wound has been opened. And I'm so thankful to have been able to witness that and lend my voice and support as best I can to saying we need to find all the children and bring them home. I'm also thankful for the work uh, and being able to partner with Vancouver School of Theology to look at a certificate in Anglican Studies um, that will be offered uh, uh, at VST for the diocese starting this fall and as the details for that are being ironed out the the knowledge that we can work with incredible partners around and have incredible theologians like Richard Topping and Ray Alderid help us have the conversation and to be able to have as part of that conversation uh, how we uh, talk about reconciliation and have that conversation. And, and and the great things like delving into the scriptures and pastoral care and equipping the saints for the work of the church. So I'm so thankful for that. And thankful for a number of wonderful other conversations this day. And um, for no one having sent anything yet about the loss tonight. And um, yeah. 
They haven't won in my lifetime, so why should I be surprised? I'm starting to feel like if you're a Fleafs fan, Charlie Brown should be your um, mascot. Good grief. So, with your prayers, we pray our thanksgivings. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest. For all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children, we praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace in believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We continue on the bottom of page 723. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless, keep, and preserve you this night and indeed forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our holy hug on the way to bed. I pray you have a most restful night. Tomorrow at 12.15, we gather with the Dean at uh, in St. Andrew's Cathedral Facebook page for our service of midday prayer. And then, God willing, I'll be back tomorrow night at 9 o'clock for another service of Compline. Until then, nighty-night. I'm a hopeless name.